Hello, today I'm going to be talking about six apps that are free that I found for Windows for drawing and illustration. Now, there are hundreds of different apps out there uh, for Windows for drawing. In fact, there's a surprising number of apps out there. But I've kind of narrowed it down to my five favorites and one that I don't like, but everybody's asking me about all the time anyway. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The first one is new to me. It is called Sketchable. Sketchable is available for free in the Windows Store, but you can buy add-ons for it to add more functionality. One of the things I really like about Sketchable is that it goes full screen, so it feels more like a tablet app than a desktop app, but you still get all the features that you get in a desktop app. So this is really nice if you're using something like the Cintiq Companion or the Surface Pro. What I ended up using this app for is sketching. It feels like a really good digital sketchbook. And there were some nice little elegant touches added to the app as well. For example, if I want to resize the brush, I take my finger and I swipe up or down on the tool. If I swipe right or left, I can change the opacity of that brush. Next up, we have GIMP. I'm bringing this up because a lot of people bring it up to me. GIMP is a full-blown Photoshop open source alternative. And like Photoshop, there are a ton of features in GIMP. Now I'm gonna to be totally honest at this point and say I don't really care for GIMP all that much. But for the sake of this review, I decided to give it a second shot. Actually, it's more like a fifth or sixth shot. And a lot of my criticisms of GIMP are just personal. I think it's kind of ugly. The interface doesn't make a whole lot of sense and it's really, really busy. For example, in order to see all your tool options that are down here, I have to widen my palette. That means all these icons line up side by side next to each other, which makes it harder for my eye to scan and find what I'm looking for. Also, when I was doing this review, I did a lot of Google searches just to figure out how to use the product to do things like make a layer. I did download the manual, but I couldn't find the search feature in the manual. This was pretty much my experience the entire time I was using GIMP. A lot of features, kind of hard to use. So let's move on to something I do really like, and that is Medibang. Medibang is also known as Fire Alpaca. They're two separate programs, but they're based in the same code? They're pretty much the same program. Now, just a few weeks ago, I reviewed Medibang on the iPad, and so it was very natural flowing into the version for the desktop. Now, if you're trying to decide which one you want to download, Medibang or Fire Alpaca, they're pretty much the same program, but I give the edge to Medibang. Part of that is because of the cloud save feature that you can then take onto other devices. And then the other piece is it works better on the Surface. I had to install some extra drivers to get the pressure sensitivity to work with Fire Alpaca, and it was just out of the box. It worked great in Medibang. And I still really like the inking pens and the way I can sketch in it. It's just one of those apps that's really catered towards people like me, like comic creators. And also the big thing for me is being able to save those files and open them on my iPad or my Mac or anywhere. I still think that is a tremendously awesome feature. Number four on my list is an app called Mischief. Mischief is a fully featured drawing app that has a scaled down free version that you can download. Now the free version is really scaled back. You don't have a lot of brush options. Uh, you don't have the ability to add extra layers to it, but the core drawing experience of the app was really, really nice. I spent a lot of time when I first opened an app, uh, especially the apps I used for this review, just opening them up and trying to find brushes that I like. I play with the settings, I change things around, I just kind of get it feeling the way I want it to feel. But right out of the gate, I really just love the way the natural brushes felt in mischief. They were tight and smooth and there was just a really nice taper on the brushes. Another thing I loved about it is that there is an infinite canvas. Once I sketch something out, all I have to do is move over to the side and I can keep drawing and keep drawing and keep drawing and keep drawing. In most drawing apps, you, you define your canvas size and then I sketch a bunch of stuff in there and then I create a new layer, turn the old layer off and keep sketching. So it's kind of cool just to see everything you've done in a day, you know, spread out across your canvas when you zoom out. Now the full version of Mischief is only $25 and there's like a 15 day demo that you can download for free. I enjoyed Mischief so much that I'm definitely going to be giving the full version a try. Uh, and if I like it, I'm probably going to give it a, the full review treatment in the coming weeks. Another free app that's available out there is Sketchbook. Now there is Sketchbook and there is Sketchbook Pro. So Sketchbook is the free version that is, uh, like many of the others, scaled down. But there are a surprising number of options that are available for the free version. Like many of the brush tools that are available are great. Like there's airbrushes and pens and pencils and there's like a hard eraser and a soft eraser and there's just a whole bunch of stuff in the free version. There's a great selection tool available and you can move things around and resize them and add text to your drawings when you're done. All this stuff made it feel like more than just a sketchbook. This is something that I could take at least at the pro version and do like finished illustrations with. Since I was using this and Mischief for the first time at kind of the same time, I ended up comparing them to each other a lot. And I think I like Mischief just a little bit more. Even though there aren't nearly as many tools, I just, it just felt very natural. I really loved the way that the brushes flowed. In Sketchbook, the lines just felt a little wobbly to me as I drew. Sketchbook also isn't optimized for a retina display, so I think I may have been drawing at double the size, which may have amplified the wobbliness. It also meant that my lines didn't 
didn't have like that crisp drawn line comic feel that I was going for. They all seemed a little blurry around the edges. I also wasn't all that impressed with the pressure sensitivity in Sketchbook. It was definitely there, like when I was pressing down on a pen, it was getting darker, but it wasn't getting that much darker. And it was hard to find something with a decent taper to it. And lastly, I'm gonna talk about an app that I had never heard about until a few weeks ago, and that is called Krita. Now Krita, like Medibang, is completely free. There are no in-app purchases or anything like that. It's just a full featured app with a ton of options for free. In fact, there are so many options available to you that it is a little overwhelming at first when you use it. When you select the brush tool, there's this little drop down thing for you and there are so many different brushes just available. I spent 20 minutes just fiddling with brushes. Part of it was just what do all these things do? But the other part was just give me a basic basic brush that I can use. And so many of the other tools I just scratched the surface with because the deeper you dive, the more options and settings and tweaks there are. There's some really wild vector shape tools where you can lay down vectors and then it adds like a stroke line around them. And there were a whole bunch of perspective tools that I didn't have the time to really fully comprehend, but seemed like they could be extraordinarily useful. I think this is the type of app where if you're someone who loves to jump in and mess with settings and mess with new tools, that is definitely worth checking out. I'm one of those people who doesn't like to jump in and mess with all the settings. I'm probably gonna stick with Medibang because of that. But if you are the type of person who likes to jump in and play with all that stuff, this is a great program to check out. There are a surprising amount of Windows drawing apps out there available. I didn't try them all. It's almost impossible to try them all. But if I missed any that are really awesome, let me know in the comments. If you want me to answer faster, sometimes that works better if you hit me up on Twitter. And I just wanna say thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll be back in a week or two with another video. So subscribe if you wanna follow along. Thanks.